So my name is Caitlin Rafe and I'm a First Nations Waka Waka and Kuta and Kuruja woman currently residing on Jimu Wallabara land. So I first started with TMR in 1st of November 2010, um, so just a little over 10 years. So the Indigenous Driver Licensing uh, Program is uh, is a mobile team that visits uh, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities uh, in the Cape York Peninsula area, Gulf of Carpentaria and the Torres Strait Islander regions. Um, we're a team of six, uh, so we go out and provide uh, anything to do with licensing. So learner licensing, uh, practical driving tests for cars up to uh, H HC licensing. Uh, we also do identification cards and also promote uh, road safety awareness as well. Uh, Indigenous driver licensing, we play a very important role in these remote area communities um, by allowing community members to access licensing products uh, that they may not be able to receive in their areas due to lack of services um, in remote areas. Um, community members may not always feel comfortable with going to um, other services in their community. Therefore, when IDLU come to town, um, I think everyone has a positive view and they know that they can come down and talk to us about, um, about gaining a license. In mainstream, we know that we can just go into a customer service centre and this is what we need to do and we can go back and um, uh, understand yes to book a driving test this is what I have to do <clears throat> um, however in communities that's not always how it works so um, for IDLU to be out in the communities and delivering a license service that also leads into employment as well it's addressing those barriers um, where community members um, need that license for employment for medical reasons um you know it there may be only one person in a family household that's eligible for a driver license and when we come up and we're able to deliver that service um i feel that it just motivates people to then want to um gain employment i have a license now this leads to so many other opportunities um they can give back to their community by being locally employed um, or they may even want to leave community um, they feel that, yep, I can. I have a license now. I can actually go down into mainstream um, and you know secure full-time employment elsewhere. Personally, um, as a a young Indigenous female, having to go down to the police station to get a license as well was quite daunting. Um, so, and I mean, back then, um, I think I was 16, 17, and it was my first time in a police station and um, sort of going, oh my goodness, what do I do here? Um, so, which, which they were great. Anyway, and I obviously got my learners, but having the team that we have and going out to these communities, um, I feel as though people are a lot more comfortable and willing to come to um, see IDLU. Therefore, our, this unit plays a very important role with TMR. Um, with closing closing the gap as well. A key highlight is every trip. Um, basically, we we get out there and uh, we have a learner presentation. Um, you know that and that could range between you know ten to twenty people, and um, to have you know our youth come in and gain a license is a highlight they walk away and you know that you've changed someone's life with that. Um, definitely with driver testing as well. So um, some some customers may have been on their learners for forever and we come into town and we educate and promote road safety and then um, assess their eligibility and we can go for a driving test and then walking away going, oh my gosh, I now have a, 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 an open car license. I don't have to rely on family members um, I can get around on my own. 
one of the changes I have witnessed is the increase in engagement and collaboration within First Nations communities. Um, this increase has stemmed from recognition of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities holding, holding the solutions to issues that directly affect them. So like all programs being implemented in community, in order to be most effective, we require the support and participation from all members, be the local council organisations, such as job networks or individual community members as well. So I guess allowing um, community to have ownership or, you know, um, uh, community control basically. So they're able to have um, have an input on how they want to run the community, how they see where IDLU fits in as well. So I think definitely our, our uh, relationship building um, has increased, definitely. I'd like to see like a, a TMR champion in community. Um, so, you know, whether that's, you know, a couple of days of the week or um, just having someone local from that community go out and um, engage with their with their people um, and be able to like bring it back to IDLU and filter it down to us. Um, I'd also like to see um, TMR working closely with our um, Department of Justice as well and trying to capture those um, issues that happen in courts while also having that TMR champion say, well, I went to court today and um, this many people, you know, were disqualified licensing and bring it back to us and go, okay, well, there's a really big need in that community for IDLU to be there.